Okay, we're just going to take a look at a swinging ring support. Okay, so make sure the straps are set roughly shoulder width apart. And you notice I started back behind the bar, okay? And then I'm gonna jump up and try and hit my nice hollow body position and try and get the RTO on the rings here. Then I'm just gonna to try to keep the eyes on the horizon and try to maintain that nice hollow body shape as I start to swing. The longer the straps, the more the swing's gonna be. The shorter the straps, obviously, the less swing you're gonna have. I do prefer to use a, maybe a higher set of rings for this. And again, just set yourself up so you can jump and get the momentum going. The other option is to have a partner and they can push you a little bit like you're on a swing, okay? Obviously not pushing too sharply, but just getting the momentum going and starting to build that ring swing. It's gonna to start to work a lot of the stabilization muscles. And it's just gonna get you used to being on top of the rings when they're moving around backwards and forwards, okay? Generally do this for a specified period of time. We're gonna make sure the arms stay locked, the elbows are locked nice and strong. We wanna be working on the RTO as much as we can. Never let the rings turn in. So at a minimum, the palms are facing me and the ring is this way, but better is to have the RTO there. Never let the ring swing back in, it'll put too much pressure on the shoulder, okay? Try to hold your whole body, heels together, squeezing your glutes, okay? Bracing nice and strong. Like I said, keep the eyes on the horizon for balance and just try to control or try to balance on those rings for a specified period of time.